Okay, everything right now is dry. And I have it zoomed up a bit so that we can start working on this house. Um, I have all these papers I put down and we're almost ready to paint. I just am looking to see if there's anything else I want to use. Here's the tag. And I'm thinking... Just might add a, like a tab. To the top of this tag. Or maybe to the side. Yeah, I'll put it to the tide side and I'm just gonna put that there and then Line this up to the top. Now we have our tag on the side. Um, and I really love, love, love some of this. And so I'm thinking I'm going to Just add a bit of texture, and sometimes this is all it needs, you know, it's just a little bit of color. Because I am going to color over this, so this will just be the start of it. And for this top hole, I'm going to add a little sticker in the middle. I think that's all I'll do right now for that, and this I'll do later. So I went to Hobby Lobby today, and I got a bit of a Liquitex Professional Paint, and I wanted to use it on here. And I want to make it kind of bright. So I think I am going to make the birdhouse this color. And I'm probably just going to do the front. And I might do where the wiggly lines are over here. But I want to make the roofs a different color. And I loved this green. It's called, it's a Liquitex Professional Brilliant Yellow Green. And I so loved it. I always dry off my brushes because I like the, if I want it transparent, then I'll make it, you know, transparent. But most of the professional acrylics, have a bit of that transparent look to it where you could see through and you don't have to use uh, what I'm using you can use whatever paint you have and because this is under a dark surface going to be a little darker than usual. Because this is really, really bright.
just trying to make some brighter than others, some sides. You can see this is a little brighter than than what it was when I painted over. And so the roof, I want the green to stand out. And so the roof, I'm going to add a different color. I would really like to take my, what's that green? Big brush pens. And just go over the sides with the green. I like to blend it in. I always blend it in. These are those big brush pit pens that I love to create with. And I'm just going to darken up some of these sides here. And I like to kind of make it smudgy. Now I'm going to take my nickel. It's this nickel from Golden. This was heavy body, and this is going to be liquidized. So. Was cleaning up for my last I just painted last night I'm gonna because I want to be able to see the writing we did so this is like trans let's see Nico Ozo Gold and it is from Golden. But if you don't have Golden or any transparent paint, you can add a retarder or I, I and I do suggest that you do add I'm gonna paint over this and just make it brown. You can still see under it. Add something other than water to thin your paints. Or make sure that each layer 
if you just add water that you cover it with some kind of solvent because it will fade over the years. Water um, takes away the pigment in the paint and the, you know, the, the product that they sell to make acrylic thinner is so that it keeps the pigment into the paint. And so, yes, water will work, but eventually it will either chip off or it will just fade. So that's just my professional opinion. But you can do what, what you like. Like my kids love, love, love to keep my work, which encourages me to keep going. And, and so I don't give away much of my paint, many paintings. I do give some away, you know, but not many. <laughs> And when I art journal, this is something for my children to keep. So, now I'm going to take a dark brown. I know a lot of people like to use um, black, and I shouldn't keep saying um, but I prefer to use a dark brown and just blend it down. And I know I already did this with the green, but just adds more layers the better you could still see the dark green so I like that layers 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 make things look so much better it looks darker than what it Okay, I'm just going to finish up the circles. I like my circles to look round and, you know, dark. I stuck it in my paint. See? You don't want to get, you want to make sure it's dry because these brushes will get ruined because the acrylic paint resists from, these are, um, they're India ink pens. And if you get acrylic on the brush, it kind of ruins the paint. And I just want to add some highlights in here now. And this brush is called, let's see, Dark Fatal Green. Fatal. Fatal. And so I just want to add some contrast into the house itself. And just blend it in. Some highlights will make it look better. Okay. One thing I love is my India ink pens and whenever I see that there's some new colors out there, whatever, I buy them so fast. <laughs> I'm loving this sticker in the middle. Make sure my lights stay in. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace over these birds because all around it's going to be a, quite a few things. But I'd really like to trace what I want to keep. 
And so I'm just going to go over whatever you like. Because seriously, I, you won't even know this is a sticker when I'm done with it. But I love using stickers. Because it, it gives me a base of, of what I want. So I'm going to go right over the hole because it was I was not over it well and kind of put the sticker in the as you keep making layers you make the bird use it yourself but I think it comes out nicer when you have this extra layer underneath just my and a lot of times I just make it my own I add what I want to add on it but you don't have to you know if this is your beginning um, art journaling and you just started with this site uh, Robin's Nest then I just set, suggest you do what makes you comfortable and I always go like way past the sticker itself. So, and I don't do this all the time. A lot of times I draw it myself, but this is a way where you can not have to worry about if you don't, if you can't, if you're not comfortable with drawing. I wouldn't say if you can't draw because. Everybody can draw if they try. That's at, at least my personal opinion. <laughs> so now I'm going to start down here and go on the outer side. And I'm just going to make sure, because I can kind of see the indents from the paint after. I start adding layers. I'm just going to make it look like she's on something. Since I got rid of that, and there it is. There's that perch. I have this light so you can see. I don't know if it's helping here. Let me try to make it so the glare is not on the... Now I'm going to work on this bird right here, the third bird. Like I said, you don't have to follow the bird at all. You go with the way you want your bird to look. If you want different colors, if you want a, a bright bird instead of a brown bird, these are the beauties of being able to use these wonderful printed stickers. And I like how they're printed already. Well, you could print these on sticker papers and just stick it and then that takes away from having to cut them out. And so that, see that's done. So right now we're concentrating on brightening up this, um, I'd like this a bit brighter. I'm not quite sure though. I might want around the house a bit brighter. That's what I'm thinking. And how I do that is I take a bit of white
and just make like a shadow.
I'm glad these are capitals. I like, no. And we'll do this on this side. I. I'm just gonna say spring. I. S P. R I M G. Do not. And trip spring. kind of overlap them like that and with this I'll just add regular Tacky glue. This one's not even open. And then I'll use my natural pH adhesive. Use whatever adhesive you have. But you want to make sure that you don't get glue all over your page because glue ends up being resisted too. So, okay, as you can go back and get the edges later. I always just do the S P. And then you get a variety. Spring. I'm just trying to glue it down. It's going to take a little while. Make sure you know, no splurts are coming out of the sides. You can get that later. You're going to coat it anyway with some kind of medium. And so it's really okay. So that says spring. And then you can literally write it is in the air. If I can go over with is in the A I R. Yeah. And now we can do more journaling. Now with this. What colors do I have left on my palette? Looks like I have some green. So I'm basically going to go over the whole thing. And 
and green. You see how it just adds texture to it. Even even the tag. I'm going to add green to it. It's all right if you get some on your page. Just blend it in. And once this is done, I'll come back and write and add more paint to it. Cover the back, too. See how much brighter it is, because who knows, maybe you might want the back instead of the front. <laughs> I don't know, I always do both sides. And this is just a regular um, cardboard. And then we'll finish it up when it dries. And, and then we'll finish this because I'm going to come around and make this title blend in with the rest of the picture. Okay, now I'm just going to finish my my little tag to go on it. I think that just might be what I'll put on there, you know, spring is in the air. Snow is melting. Just add doodles, you know, if you want. You can doodle up your snow clouds. And just write the year here, 2014. And just add it to your page. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. And so I'm probably just going to add it right... anywhere. And how I'm going to add it is I'm going to I might just I might just add it on this side because this is a double page and so I just so that I can have something on this page I'm just going to add it right right here so that I'll have something to look at. I'm going to just use my pop dots. And that way, if somebody wants to paint what's on the other side, let's see what's on the other side. If someone wants to frame it, they can just take this tag off and it won't be much of a, a problem. So there's that side, and there's this side. And so it just says, spring is in the air, snow is melting with smiley faces. And then I have 2014. And I'll just sign it. That's it.